Hello once again. Now I wanted to show you about the headlamp power relay. Right there is the headlamp power relay. Now what I did over here, I did the same thing that I did yesterday. What I told you yesterday in the video was, you cannot go and listen if the relay is on for the fuel pump or anything like that. You know, you listen for a click, or you listen, did you hear the relay, or you didn't hear the relay. This is the best method, is to go in to measure it to see if it works. So, as you can see, I took one terminal, which is the output of the switch, and I put a lead. Took the other one, and I put a, le a lead also to the other side, going into the terminal. This is the load side of it. So, this will always have 12.8. 12.46 volts the question is when the relay is activated what will the other side have it should have also 12 volts when will that happen when the headlights come on so I don't have to take the relay out I don't have to jump anything right I don't have to put a power probe you'll notice two things the headlamps will come on and this is the, the main point of the relay now I'm going to keep it on the B plus side. This will drop. The 12.46 will drop. It'll drop to about 12.3. What's so significant about that? What's important about that is that shows me that the relay is pulling current. And since it's pulling current, since, since it's activated, the voltage will drop. That's why it's important to understand current. So, again, I'm going to be at the B plus side. That's the B plus side and 12.46. Okay. Headlamps are on. Look how much it dropped. It was 12.46, even less than 12.3. It was 12.46. Now it dropped to 12.06. What does that mean? That means there's current flowing through that load circuit through the headlamps. And that's why it drained or it brought down the 12.4. Let's go to the other side, the output of it, and measure it. Before we had zero, right? Because the switch wasn't active. That's the other side of it. 12.06 so I know the relay is working how do I know because I went to the other side of it see this was let's say the B plus side this is the out output or the load side of it that tells me the relay is working the 12.06 tells me current is being drawn and there's a complete path to ground and the relay is active because if not it'll go back up to 12.4 that's why it's important I always teach current you see that you can test the relay in circuit and it's the only proper way to do it that like I did with the fuel pump yesterday with the video don't take out the relay measure it put these across the terminals this is 87 this is 30 87 87 30 over here you want to go to the output this is the true 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 value in circuit what you're measuring okay let's go back to the other side look 12.07 see the headlamps are working now let me turn off the headlamps watch it go back up did you see it go back up how much is it now 12.4 back to normal why because we're not drawing current from the B plus so we went we dropped actually 0.4 volts what does that mean that means it's pulling current the fact that I go from one side to 12.4 and it drops to 12.0 almost whatever and I lose 0.4 volts that alone tells me this relay is working because it is drawing current when it draws current you have a voltage drop across it and it, from the B plus and it drops so the B plus drops to 12.4 12.1 that tells me I'm losing a voltage drop across this the, the B plus itself 
that tells me it's working. Very important to understand that theory. Anyway, he was asking me how, how, where do you put it? You take out the relay and you put the in. Let me take this off and I'll show you. Okay, here's the meter. This is the relay. This is the relay. Okay, what I did was I just put a jumper into the terminal, into the other terminal. You don't have to push this all the way in because as long as I make contacts with this, it's good. You saw that, right? So anyway, this is the true way. Any any relay to measure for fuel pump relay, for the headlamp, for the starter motor, anything. This is the proper way to measure the relays. Do not take a relay out by jumping it. Do not take, a, a, you don't need a power probe. I hope this was clear and again the other video that I did about the mass airflow sensor with the scope maybe was a little uh, um, not not focused and all that but the gist of it was you have to look at the signal do not look at the DC volts with the multimeter all you're gonna measure is the reference it's useless always put a signal on it now we'll go on to the next one